E agora a gente fala de futuro, do futuro da tecnologia e da energia. Em visita ao país, o chairman de um dos maiores grupos desse setor do mundo, a Schneider Electric, explicou como a tecnologia torna a vida mais eficiente e pode ser uma aliada na redução de emissões de carbono. Vamos ouvir. And I would say what we are experimenting in the field of digitization is the episode two of the internet. The episode one was about the internet of people. And it was, it changed our life, right? Uh, it created a new way to order food, help taxis, communicate, meet people, uh, have meetings. Number one, episode one. The episode two is the internet of things. And it will connect people to machines, people to their environment, on machines to machines for a much higher efficiency. Now, when you think about it, it took 30 years for us to go from the first line of internet to the services I was describing. And the key topic here is speed of adoption. You can make any building 30% more efficient by making it digital, which is a lot of savings on the top of being better for the planet. Very few buildings are digitized today. Uh, and it's all a question of deployment. Go fast in deploying the existing technology. Today, 70% of carbon emissions could be eliminated with existing technology. So it's not about innovation, it's about deploying what we have already.